Hey everyone, today I'm doing a Pega Marie NZ Lime Crime and the Balm haul because they just recently started stocking it so it's awesome for New Zealanders to be able to actually get it for a good price and fast. If you live in the United States I'll put links down below where you can find Urban Decay. I'm not sure about the Balm, I suppose they have a website, I'm not 100% sure but if you live in New Zealand it's definitely the easiest and it's like still affordable. Like I'm pretty sure it costs pretty much the exact same amount but you get it faster so I don't know. I'll put her link down below as well. He's nibbling me. Aren't you? <gasps> yeah. You tired? Do you like wearing makeup? Yeah. So I'm just going to show you what I got and I'm going to do swatches. So if you're interested in, you know, any of the products, you know exactly what they look like. I'm not going to do on lip swatches because, to be honest, I'm completely obsessed with this lip colour. But I am going to be doing, like, tutorials using these so you will see them you know, in the coming few weeks on my lips anyway. I think I'll start off with the balm stuff, so um, the first thing I got was the Berry, I mean, the first thing I got was the Betty Luminizer. It's the same as the Mary Luminizer, except it is a brown colour, so it's like a shimmery, what are you doing? Are you showing off? It's like a shimmery bronze colour, and I have this on right now. I did film a chit chat getting ready video prior to this video, so I'm going to upload that next so you guys can see what they look like on my face and just all that kind of jazz but I mean you can see it now that's that shimmery kind of thing over my cheeks I've got bronzer, blush, this and then I've got a little bit of the Mary Luminizer on the very top of it so yeah that's what it looks like and the packaging is quite cute as well it's just got a little girl on it and yeah that's about it <laughs> next I got Cabana Boy blush this is marketed as a shadow slash blush, so you can use these on your eyes, I suppose. But it's just a really deep berry colour, and this will be perfect for autumn, winter. So, I also got the Frat Boy shadow slash blush, and I'm wearing this today. And it's like the perfect peach, so that's just really nice, a good staple for anyone's collection. Like, I always like to have a peach and a pink on hand because just, you know... They're just like the staples, I suppose. Okay, I also got a single shadow. This is the Shady Lady. I don't know what it's called. I guess it's just called... Oh no, here we go. It's caught in the Act Courtney. And it's a really nice, deep kind of... I don't know, it's like a red tone brown, purpley tone brown. And it's just got lots of gold shimmer in it. So that'll be really nice to experiment with like a smoky eye or something like that. I also got a concealer. And this is called the Time Balm Spot concealer with green tea oil um I mean tea tree oil not green tea <laughs> so it's good for putting on your zits it'll help reduce them apparently I actually used this under my eyes today because I didn't realize it had tea tree oil in it but it seemed to work okay um I'll try it out when I have some big gnarly zits I do have a few down here but they're pretty much gone so I won't really know if it was because of that or not um I also got a lip plumper I have tried this already so I'll tell you a little bit about it I was really impressed because usually I'm so terrified of lip plumpers. I hate them because they hurt, they burn. I tried one by Benefit. I literally had to scrub it off my lips because my lips hurt that bad and I felt like I was getting like acid burn or something. Um, but this one here just felt really, really minty and tingly but not like sore tingly, just really fresh. So I was excited about that. Finally, a lip plumper that doesn't hurt. So it's called Plump Your Pucker ugly packaging the box is always nicer than the actual packaging um, and it's just like a nude color but it comes off pretty much like my lip color because I wore it alone and it just looked like I was wearing a clear balm or a clear lip gloss in the end but yeah I like it so far I'm gonna try it on top of lipsticks and see how it goes next I have the what's your type um, what's it called mascara and this is the bodybuilder one I really like this um, I show you everything about it in the next video, like I used it. It's really good, I really like it, I've used it twice now, and it's just really good for volume, and the little brush makes it really easy to get underneath and plump up the lashes from the roots. Again, this packaging is so much cooler, it's got like a bodybuilder on it, and it's like, he's thick, defined, and bold, massive, you know, all that kind of thing, but then the actual mascara just has words on it, and it's just not cool. And then I got two of the Balm lipsticks. The packaging just looks like MAC lipsticks, but in silver, and the actual lipsticks I haven't tried yet, but this one here is a nude one called My Bills Be Paid, or May Bills Be Paid, maybe? Maybe that's what it's supposed to say, but it's just a nude colour. And then the other one I got is called Anita Boy Toy, and it's a pink. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be frosty or not, but we'll give it a go. 
Okay, the rest was Lime Crime. I got this palette here, used it today. I'm in love with it already. I just used the silver and the purple, and they are so buttery, so smooth, so pigmented. Put them on, they went, like, so far. Like, you know sometimes how you have to keep dipping in and applying it because you just don't get enough on your brush. These, like, just, like, melted onto my eyes, like, butter and spread out. It was so pigmented, and I'm just in love already. So I'm going to be doing some looks with this palette. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, so this is the Antoinette palette, D'Antoinette. I don't know, but it's got just these spring kind of shades in it. And I also got a yellow liquid eyeliner because I saw a picture online one time of someone wearing yellow liquid eyeliner and it looked amazing and I want to recreate it in a tutorial for you guys. So I got this one and it is amazingly pigmented. It's fantastic. You'll see it in the swatch. It's just amazing. So really, really bright and it really is yellow. Not like a kind of milky, watery color like a lot of them come out like. It is actually pigmented and actually looks this color. It's fantastic. And then the last thing I got were lipsticks, of course. The famous Lime Crime lipsticks. The packaging is amazing. Purple with like a holographic unicorn on it. And then it says Lime Crime. Got little stars all over it. It's so cute. So I think I got six. This one here is in Poisonberry, which I'm excited to do like a vampy, autumn, vampire-ish tutorial with. This is a really, really dark purple. This one here is called Stiletto. You're going to be shocked. It is black and I really I probably will get a lot of like I don't know like a hard time for doing this but I'm gonna be doing a how to wear black lips tutorial like a wearable and cool way to wear black lipstick if you ever feel the need to wear it like it's not something I would go for every day but I thought it would make for something different for a video so I think I'll do that what do you guys reckon I also got this one here called Contessa Fluorescent and this is what's in the center of my lips at the moment I kind of did like an ombre look where I put a deeper color on the outside. My phone, I'm so sorry, it's like way over there and I've got lighting set up so I can't really go turn it off. But this color is really pretty. It's like a medium pink, quite bright, really pretty. Formula is amazing, perfect, super, super like creamy, like a cream sheen by MAC. Super vivid, you go over once and the color is there. You don't have to go back and forth. So this is the other one I've got on my lips at the moment. Um, it's called Centrifuge, and I've just put it on the outside of my lips, so the really deep red, not deep red, deep berry colour. I'm really excited to use this, because you guys know I usually stick with lighter bright pinks, but this one's like a dark bright pink, if that makes any sense. It's what I've got like on the outsides, and I just really, really like it. It's so nice, like the colour, I just didn't expect to like it as much as I actually do, so that's a bonus. And then I have Airborne Unicorn, another very bizarre colour. Not sure how I'm going to use this yet. It's very purple and lilac, but I'm sure I will figure out a way to use it and show it in a tutorial or in a chit chat or something like that sometime soon. And then the last colour I have here is Geradium. This one's probably one of the most safe colours for me because it's what I already kind of like to wear. It's called, I already said that, Geradium. And it's like the perfect kind of corally pinky colour. It actually looks quite similar to something I already have. It's very similar to Viva Glam Nikki, if you can see. I'm going to do like a, I don't know if you're actually interested, I should ask you first. Do you guys reckon I should do like a MAC lipstick dupe video or like something along those lines? Um, just because I have a few colours in my collection which can be swapped for other brands or like cheaper brands. Some of the brands that the same colour looks like, that makes no sense. You know what I'm trying to say, but the same colours are like the same price so both brands are like the same price but maybe you'll prefer one formula over the other or something like that but would that be helpful let me know so those are all the goodies i got this time let me know like what kind of looks you'd like me to create and what products you'd like to see in videos first and all that kind of thing and i'll get onto that asap um i'll leave the links down below to where you can get them and i hope you guys have a really really good day and you will see me again in two more days where you will see this face look if you know what i mean the day after tomorrow <laughs> Bye.